The snow has stopped, but the snow emergency for one of the Twin Cities just started. These are what the streets look like in Minneapolis and St. Paul. They're each doing things differently with this storm. And our Alan Henry went to figure out why, and he kicks off our team coverage from the rooftop. Alan? Hey, Jeff, that's right. Here in Minneapolis, well, they decided against a snow emergency, but over in St. Paul, they started about an hour ago. I spoke to their director of public works, who says that's because the Twin Cities have different equipment, different staffing, and different streets they need to take care of tonight. When it snows, it pours. <laughs> like, I don't know. It's, uh, it's kind of crazy. For people in St. Paul, it's become a common cycle. Snow, shovel, repeat. I, I feel like everybody's trying to, trying to do their best with what is a very, very white January. That includes snowplow drivers. I, I think, you know, that especially when it comes to weather, there's a lot that's out of our control, and I do think they are doing the best they can. This is just an unusual year. We've had the third most snow ever at this point in the winter this year. Sean Kershaw, the director of Public Works, hopes to add half a dozen new trucks and drivers to his fleet as soon as possible, but isn't sure if that would help in clearing neighborhoods. You know, new equipment will always help um, with that and filling some vacant positions, you know, that we have for drivers will help, but I don't know that there's much we would have done differently given the volume of snow. Any more snow, he says, could bring even more drastic measures. If we keep getting snows like this, we'll have to do two things. We may have to go to a residential parking bay on one sided, and we're going to have to go into the streets and remove the snow, you know, when needed, especially those streets that are most narrow. Kershaw says things will get better in time. Time, at least some residents are willing to give crews. You can complain if you want to, but like, <laughs> do you have a better solution than slowly plowing it all? You know, at some point, it's, it's the best that we can do, and uh, you can make it worse, or you can try to make it better. Uh, Kershaw also tells me Public Works will be moving to a computerized route system sometime later this year. Right now, they're using clipboards and paper routes from the 90s. He tells me that new map system will be able to give them live updates depending on how bad the snow gets. Jeff? Could be what they need. Thank you, Alan.